Prince Harry's rift with Prince William was laid bare during an Easter Sunday service ahead of his and Meghan Markle's shock exit from the royal family, unearthed reports show. This weekend, Harry and Meghan will travel to the Netherlands for the Invictus Games, marking the Duchess of Sussex's first trip to Europe since the couple left the firm two years ago. Despite making the journey across the pond, the Sussexes are not expected to visit the UK. Their trip comes at a particularly significant time for the royal family, as this weekend marks the Easter celebrations, which the family usually spend together. While it has been announced that the Queen won't be attending the traditional Easter Sunday service, Prince William, his wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and other members of the royal family are expected to attend the traditional ceremony at St George's Chapel. Harry last attended the Easter Sunday service three years ago, a year before his exit from the firm. Meghan, who was heavily pregnant, chose to skip the service. At the time, talk of a rift between the Sussexes and the Cambridges was rife. It had recently been decided that the couples would split their households. Kate and William stayed at Kensington Palace, while Harry and Meghan relocated to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. The Easter service only furthered speculation that tensions were brewing. Harry was photographed walking by himself as he stared at the ground while William and Kate followed ten paces behind. William and Harry reportedly did not speak to each other on the way in or out of the chapel and were separated by their cousin Zara Tyndall and her husband Mike. When the brothers eventually found themselves side by side, they did not acknowledge each other and Harry quickly walked off and stood alone behind the group. At the time, body language expert Judy James told The Mirror, the body language between the two princes here doesn't just add to the speculation that the pair are no longer on speaking terms, it seems to suggest that any rift might have got even wider. When he was single, Harry was always forming a tight and happy trio with William and Kate, but here it looks sadly as though he is going out of his way to have a lack of communication with his brother. Not only does he arrive and leave walking apart from William and Kate, his antics when William closes in by the church entrance make him look awkward and hints that he could be desperate to avoid him. His facial expression looks dour and he seems to raise one hand to touch his face in what looks like a partial cut-off gesture suggesting a desire to hide. Royal author Penny Jenner told the documentary Kate a young queen-in-waiting that William suggested that he might put the brakes on a bit. She said, Harry, I think, took it very amiss and was angry, and I don't think has forgiven William. This was echoed by Ms. Nickel. She said, Harry felt that he didn't have his brother's support. That really was the beginning of the breakdown of what was, up until then, an unbreakable brotherly bond. William still served as his brother's best man at the 2018 wedding, but it soon became clear the brothers were heading in different directions. When Harry and Meghan upped sticks and moved to California last year, stepping down from senior royal duties at the same time, the distance between the two grew bigger than ever. Harry, in his interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year, said of the relationship, We are on different paths. However, the two first grew apart 20 years ago, according to royal expert Katie Nichol. She told the documentary Prince Charles and Prince William, Royal Rivals? that things started to change when William went off to study at the University of St Andrews in Scotland. She said, I think the distance between them started when William went away to university. I think Harry found that quite difficult because he'd lost his soulmate, he'd lost his confidant. I know through friends that Harry did find that very difficult, and William would come back at weekends especially to be with Harry. Harry, two years younger than his brother, was still at Eton when William went to university. He has always known his brother's destiny. Robert Lacey, in his Battle of Brothers book which was released in October last year, recalled a moment where the brothers were still very young. He wrote, Ken Worf, bodyguard to Diana and the two boys in the late 1980s, recalls a telling incident when the family were traveling from London to Highgrove for the weekend. According to Worf, Harry and his brother got embroiled in an argument in the back seat of the car, with their nanny vainly seeking to referee the dispute. You'll be king one day, said the four-year-old Harry. I won't so I can do what I want. Where the hell did he get that from? asked Diana, 